This is second grade module six, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we're going to think of evens and odds in a slightly different way, whereas the previous video, we thought of evens as the result of doubles. Uh, now we're going to be thinking about evens as uh, uh, objects that, whereas where each member of the team, of the group, has a pair. So if a partner. So if everybody has a partner, then that number is called even. But if you have a lone guy that doesn't have a partner, well, then it's odd. Uh, so let's get started on that. I like to use my pneumicon pieces. And for those who have never heard of pneumicon, pneumicon, and pneumicon, uh, great manipulative. You could buy them on Amazon.com. Uh, they're they're cheap and they are really really nice for um, students, particularly special needs students. But anybody can use pneumicons. I love to use pneumicons because they show what an odd and an even looks like. So even numbers are numbers where every circle has a partner across the street. So this guy has a partner across the street, so it's even. Um, we can see that this guy, um, this circle has a partner across the street. This circle has a partner across the street. This circle has a partner across the street. But this circle does not have a partner across the street. So he is odd. And so what we can do is we can look, and as we investigate each number to decide if it's even or odd, and we can sort them, and you can see that odd numbers have a particular look, where a, and even numbers have a, a slightly different look, all right? So we can see that odd numbers always have this guy, this nub, uh, where he doesn't have a partner across the street, so to speak, whereas the evens, every circle has a partner across the street. They're perfectly symmetrical. Down the center, you can say symmetrical. That's actually a good word to tell our second graders. That's perfectly fine. Whereas an odd number here is not symmetrical because this guy does not have a partner on the opposite side. So that's the basic um, idea of this lesson with Eureka Math. And what we're going to do is we're going to pair up the objects. So this uh, rectangle has a partner across the street. And I'll use a slightly thinner pen this time. This partner has a, I mean, a rectangle has a partner across the street. And then lastly, this rectangle has a partner across the street. So since every rectangle has a partner, that means this guy is even. And so six, it doesn't ask us to write this, but six is even. We can also think of six as three plus three. So that's how we know six is even. Um, so we're going to continue with this one right here. So let's take a look. Does everybody have a partner? Well, let's see. This uh, pentagon goes with that pentagon. This pentagon goes with that pentagon. Mm, this pentagon goes with that pentagon. Uh, this guy has a partner right there. And then this guy goes right here. And then, uh-oh, that guy's left alone. He doesn't have a partner which means this is not even. So even and not even. You'll notice they're using the word not even rather than odd. And that's perfectly fine at this moment. And the last slide for this video, we're going to circle in groups of two. And then we're going to count by twos to see if the number of objects is even. So let's, let's put our little groups of two. So there's a group of two. There's a group of two, here's a group of two, here's a group of two. Oh my goodness, oh, there is a group of two, a group of two, a group of two, and lastly, a group of two. So, everybody, whoa, everybody has a partner, and since everybody has a partner, we know it's even. So we can count, there are how many twos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight twos 
there are there's nothing left over. So do you see how this is kind of leading into division, actually? It's kind of cool. And then count by twos to find the total. So we had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So let's write that again. Let's count that again. So that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So this group has an even number of objects, true or false. And of course, since nobody is left without a partner, everybody has a partner, this is a true statement. It is an even number. And that wraps up second grade module six, lesson 18, where we were pairing up objects and doing a little bit of skip counting. And it was the fact that every object has a partner, which means it is even. But if any partner doesn't have, any object doesn't have a partner, that makes it not even.